In the late 1980s Republic of Korea Army drew up its requirements for a new indigenous 155mm tracked howitzer to meet the requirements of 21st century. Key operational requirements included a higher rate of fire, longer range, better accuracy and faster into and out of action times. Development of the K-9 Thunder began in 1989. It was developed as a replacement for the M109A2K, also known as the K-55. First prototypes were completed in 1994. This artillery system entered service in 1999. South Korea ordered a total of 136 of these howitzers. Finland ordered 48 of these howitzers for delivery in 2017. India ordered 100 of these artillery systems. In 2018 at least 25 units were reportedly delivered to the Indian Army. Estonia ordered 18 units. Deliveries began in 2020 and are planned to be completed in 2023. Norway ordered 24 units. In 2021 Australia ordered these artillery system, which included local production of the AS-9 Huntsman howitzer and AS-10 ammunition resupply vehicle. Local production in Australia is planned to begin in 2024. In 2022, after long negotiations, Egypt made a deal with South Korea for technology transfer and local production of the K-9 howitzers. During the same year Poland ordered a large number of these howitzers from South Korea to meet an urgent operational requirement. The K-9 was also tested in the United States. By 2022 some 1,700 K-9 howitzers were produced. Currently it is one of the most commercially successful howitzer in the world. The main armament of the K-9 Thunder consists of 155mm-L52 howitzer, fitted with automatic shell handling and ramming system. It is compatible with standard NATO 155mm ammunition. Maximum range of fire is 30 km with standard E shell and 40 km with rocket-assisted shell. The K-9 Thunder has a maximum rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute and is capable of multiple rounds simultaneous impact firing. It can launch three shell in 15 seconds, each in different trajectories, so that all of the shells arrive on target at the same time. Sustained rate of fire is two rounds per minute. The K-9 Thunder is fitted with automatic fire control system with internal navigation system and automatic gun laying systems. It takes 30 seconds to prepare to fire at emplacement and 60 seconds from movement. The howitzer can quickly leave its position in order to avoid counter-battery fire. The K-9 has all welded steel hull and turret with a maximum thickness of 19 mm. It provides protection from small arms and artillery shell fragments. Vehicle is also fitted with NBC protection system. This self-propelled howitzer has a crew of five, consisting of commander, gunner, assistant gunner, loader and driver. Vehicle is powered by German MTU MT881 K500 diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower. Interestingly the same engine is used on the German PZH-2000 howitzer. Transmission of the K-9 Thunder is a further development of that installed on the M1 Abrams main battle tank. The K-9 is fitted with a hydropneumatic suspension. The K-9 Thunder is resupply form the K-10 ammunition resupply vehicle. It is based on the K-9 chassis. The reloading process is fully automated and can be performed without exposing the crew under enemy fire or in the contaminated areas. K-9A1 is an improved version. It has an improved automatic fire control system and night vision systems. Auxiliary power unit has been improved. In 2022 Poland ordered 212 of these howitzers from South Korea to meet an urgent operational requirement. First batch of 24 howitzers was delivered to Poland during the same year. K-10 ammunition resupply vehicle, based on the K-9 chassis. It has the same 1,000 horsepower engine. This vehicle is used to support the K-9 howitzers. South Korea ordered a total of 179 K-10S. This resupply vehicle is also used by other countries that operate the K-9 howitzers. K-77 Fire Direction Center Vehicle It is an armored command and control vehicle for units equipped with the K-9 howitzers. It has a crew of 6 to 10. Once the target is acquired it distributes firing commands to the howitzers. T-155 Fertina, 
Turkish self-propelled howitzer with subsystems of the K-9 Thunder. K-9 Vajrati is an Indian license-produced version of the K-9. Indian Mod ordered 100 of these artillery systems. K-9 Vidar is a variant developed for Norway. AS-9 Huntsman is an Australian version of the K-9 with some modifications including increased armor, improved suspension, and an added remotely controlled weapon station. In 2021 Australia signed a contract to obtain these South Korean howitzers. The contract also included acquisition of the AS-10 ammunition resupply vehicle and local production of these systems. Initial order was for 30 howitzers and 15 ammunition resupply vehicles. Local production in Australia is planned to begin in 2024. K9A1 EGY is a variant for Egyptian military. In 2022, after long negotiations, Egypt made a deal with South Korea for technology transfer and local production of the K9 howitzer. The contract for production of hundreds K9 howitzers and associated support vehicles was valued around $1.7 billion. Under the contract the first batch of howitzers will be delivered to Egypt from South Korea until 2025. The K9A1 EGY howitzers will be locally produced in Egypt. Interestingly fire control systems will be also produced in Egypt. These howitzers will be used by Egyptian army as well as coastal defense units. As 10 ammunition resupply vehicle for the Australian army. Its official designation is as 10 armored automatic resupply vehicle. It is based on the South Korean K-10, but has some modifications. Initial order was for 15 units. AS-10C2 is an armored artillery command post vehicle. It is being proposed by Hanwha Defense for the Australian Army. It is based on the AS-10 ammunition resupply vehicle, but instead has a spacious interior with workstations for 6 to 7 soldiers. This armored vehicle carries various communication equipment. The AS-10C2 can act as a forward command post, ground control station for artillery and UAVs. K-11 Fire Direction Control Vehicle It is a new vehicle that will be developed specially for Egyptian military. This artillery command post vehicle will use a similar chassis as the K-9 howitzer, but will be fitted with various sensors and communication equipment. Chassis of the K-9 had been exported to Poland for their indigenous crab 155mm self-propelled howitzers. A first batch of Polish crab howitzers used a modified chassis of the PT-9120 man battle tank. However since 2012 production of the engine for this chassis stopped. In 2014 it was reported that Poland plans to acquire 120 track chassis of the South Korean K-9 for their crab howitzers. First chassis was completed in 2015. It was planned that 36 units will be produced in South Korea and the rest 84 will be made in Poland. 